Hello there. This is going to be a video about movement abilities and how to use them. So the reason for making this video is that I was watching Mathel's stream, watching him play his Cyclone Discharge character. He was, you know, moving around, cycloning, blowing things up, whirling blades and around. And I noticed that he was using the wrong form of whirling blades. And I figure if a player like Mathel, who is experienced and mechanically skilled, can use the wrong form of whirling blades, then probably a lot of people are making the same mistake. So I just thought I would talk about movement skills and how to use them. <clears throat> the four skills that I'm going to talk about in this video are whirling blades, leap slam, shield charge, and lightning warp. But of course the very first movement skill to talk about is walking. So walking moves at a base 40 units per second, which is just a good little benchmark to keep in your head. Um, it's affected by movement speed modifiers. And that's uh, about all that I have to say about walking. Um, but 40 units per second is a good good benchmark, because when we can then you know, we can compare it to these other skills. So whirling blades is the first actual skill that I'll talk about. And um, it has a long form and a short form. As I mentioned, it has multiple forms. And the long form moves approximately 54 units-ish in about 1.4 seconds baseline. Um, and the short version moves about 42 units in about one second. So you can see the long version goes farther, and then has this delay at the end. And the short version moves a shorter distance, but has less of a delay. So that ends up working out in the short version's favor. Uh, the long version is about 5 to 10% slower than the short version. So that is a small number, but you use Whirling Blades a lot on a Whirling Blades character, and every time you use the short version instead of the long version, it's like like 8% faster. So yeah, you pretty much just always want to use the short version. It's also more maneuverable, easier to get around, because you can take corners better. Yeah, many reasons, but the short version is superior and that's the one that you should use. Um, and the short version, as I said, has a baseline approximately 42 units per second speed. So very slightly faster than walking. <clears throat> Leap Slam is the next skill to talk about. Leap Slam has a base duration of 1.4 seconds. And it has a range that is kind of wonky. Um, I can show you. I'll stand on this rock here and then I will leap directly up, and then directly left, and then diagonally down and right. And you can see that I arrive back to my starting place, even though this is shorter, like these two distances are shorter than this hypotenuse. Um, so the way Leap Slam targeting works is it can sort of go anywhere inside this box, roughly. <clears throat> So, yeah, so you can jump, like, out to here, um, where you can jump, you know, all the way up to the top of the screen, pretty much, but the farthest distance that you can leap slam is diagonal, which means that when you can, you want to leap slam diagonally, um, and since leap slam has a fixed duration of baseline 1.4 seconds, modified by your attack speed, you also always want to leap as far as you can in one leap slam, because every time you leap for less than maximum distance, you're basically sacrificing another, you know, 1.4 seconds modified by your attack speed. So yeah, that's how you use leap slam, is ideally you go diagonally, but no matter what direction you go, you always want to max range it, because otherwise you are wasting attack animations. Shield charge, same deal. You always want to max range it. It's very important. Um, the mechanics of shield charge are you have a uh, walking animation and then an attack. So you walk and then there's this attack animation that plays. 
So the walking is modified by a baseline 75% movement speed modifier, and it is also further modified by any attack or movement speed modifiers. So if you have a bright beak with a 50% local attack speed modifier on it, that's going to be 50% faster running on your shield charge. If you have a quicksilver, 40% faster. Um, additively with the 75% innate bonus. Um, and then for this animation at the end, that is a baseline 0.54 seconds modified by your attack speed. So every time you leap, or every time you shield charge, you have this run and then this 0.54 second attack animation. Which is why when you see people just kind of casually running around doing less than max range shield charges, um, they're wasting a lot of extra time that they don't have to be spending shield charging. So if I start from over here, I do two long max range shield charges, I get all the way over here. But if I do medium range shield charges, you can see I get the same distance, but with this extra, like, two extra 0.54 second attack animations playing. So uh, this differentiates the great shield chargers from the medium shield chargers. Uh, important to max range. <clears throat> now all of the movement skills that I've talked to up till now, oh, by the way, shield charge has a... Uh, base rate, including the 75% increased modifier, um, you can cover about 45 units per second, including this attack animation on the end. So it is also slightly faster than walking, and I don't think I mentioned Leap Slam. Leap Slam diagonally, um, the max range is about 65-ish uh, in 1.4 seconds, that's a baseline of around 45, but horizontally the max range is only about 48 or so and the base speed is about 34 or 35. So Leap Slam is slower than walking baseline if you do it horizontally, but faster than walking if you do it diagonally, which is kind of weird. Um, and on average, I guess it's about the same as walking speed. Um, the other thing to mention before I get to Lightning Warp is that since Shield Charge has this built-in increased modifier, that means that it's like inherent rate is lower before that modifier. So if you get like tons and tons of attack speed, eventually she, uh, Whirling Blades and Leap Slam will overtake it, but you know, you don't really have to worry about that because you can also scale Shield Charge differently. So yeah, it's kind of weird. All of the movement skills are about the same, roughly the same, and they're all slightly faster than running. Except for Lightning Warp, which is the odd one out. Um, Lightning Warp is as fast as walking, uh, except that it has this one second cast time attached. So you do cast, and then you sit here until you would have walked that distance. Now, you can scale it differently. So for the cast animation, you can see all that with cast speed. Um, and then for the wait time, you scale that either with movement speed or with duration modifiers. So I have it linked with faster casting and with less duration. And so eventually you can push it up faster, but um, it still scales worse than the other movement skills. Like Lightning Warp is just kind of in a bad spot because it starts out the worst and then its scaling options are also the worst. Um, it kind of has this soft cap because once you get like maximum investment into cast speed, suddenly you're bottlenecked by your duration and your movement speed. And once you have this humongous investment into reducing duration, like maybe you have a helm enchant, which is crazy for a movement skill, and then you're running a quicksilver, but you're still bottlenecked by this one second cast animation. So it's kind of hard to get lightning warp over like 300% of base movement speed just because of how the skill works whereas shield charge and leap slam and whirling blades like compared to movement speed they're easier to scale rather than harder to scale and they have no cap on how fast they can go so yeah lightning warp is not unplayable it works for getting you there but um, 
I don't know, I can't really think of a time when you'd want to use it over Shield Charge or Lead Slam or Whirling Blades, if given the option. But, um, yeah, that's the mechanics. That's how these all work. Hopefully now you're better informed, you're faster, uh, and uh, I hope you find an exalt. Anyway, cheers.